it looks like there's another political battle is set to loom and this time thankfully is nothing to do with the beleaguered former health secretary Matt Hancock but who now looks to be in the firing line. Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here in the heart of London. That is your political story breaking out of London today. Now, let me give you a little bit of background simply because this political leader has sort of done everything wrong. And by that, I mean, he seems to have taken direction from all the wrong people. Now, recently, as we told you here on the show, he sat down for a lengthy interview with, of course, a celebrity interviewer trying to make sure that he came across as warm and more importantly, likeable. Sadly for him, that really failed, simply because people turned off in their droves. After all, people are now very, very sceptical about any politician that wants to be liked. But here's the bigger problem for Keir Starmer. Once you become a leader of a political party, there's simply only one way down, unless, of course, you make it big and land the Prime Minister's job. Now, the problem for Keir is that he's had a bad run of luck for a long time. So now the wolves are circulating. And one of the wolves that's snapping at his heels is none other than this lady. That's right, Angela Rayner. Now what's interesting with Angela Rayner, in my particular opinion, is she herself comes with a rather checkered background. Yes, yeah, she has a wonderful backstory about coming over adversity and finding a way to a rather prestigious position. But also, you know, you've got the political scandals that she attached herself to, calling people Tory scum in the House of Commons, of which she was reprimanded for. We could go on. So it does look like Boris and Co will be cheering for some time at the in-house fighting within the British Labour Party, simply because whoever's leading it, given the choices moving forward, they simply don't look like any competition of any serious note. Neil Sean, in the heart of London.